So, let's use what we know about trig graphs to find the equation for this line, w. First of all, which trig function are we going to need? We know that w at 0 is going to have to equal 0. Which trig function is this most like? Tangent is 0 at 0, but goes off to infinity, and this does not. Cosine is equal to 1 at x equals 0, so that's not perfect. We could shift it right or left on the x-axis, but sine is already equal to 0 at 0. So let's start with sine. We know that every kind of sine function can be written as w equals a sine bx plus c plus d, where a controls the amplitude, b controls the period, c offsets, controls the offsets along the x-axis, and d controls the offsets along the y-axis. Well, w of 0 is equal to 0, so there is no offset in either direction, and we can say that both c and d are equal to 0. The period we do have to worry about, and the amplitude. We know that the maximum value for w is going to be equal to r. If we start with a basic sine function, the maximum amplitude is equal to 1. So we need to make the maximum equal to r. We multiply everything by capital R. So a is r. We also need to change the period. We know that sine, the sine wave, goes up and down and back by the time it gets to 2 pi radians. In this case, we only really want this first part. So this would be between 0 and pi radians. What we have is between 0 and L. So we need Bx at x equals L to be equal to the same thing as pi. Bx equals pi when x equals l. Bl equals pi. B equals pi over l. Plug that B value, this A value, and these C and D values into W to get W equals r sine pi over l x.